Welcome back to art everybody and we are on part five of jelly printing and this time we're going to look at more complex stencils and creating your own. You can of course buy them but there's something rather endearing and beautiful about creating your own stencil. I'm not going to show you how to create all of these but I'm going to give you a general idea so that you can create your own. Then we're going to combine those prints with the botanic prints going outside, collecting leaves and ferns and placing these both together. So you are creating designs that are both geometric and organic in nature. Let's look at the video. I'm going to start with my favourite one which is the mixed size circle stencil. I've used my son's bath cups to trace around but anything circular with a variety of sizes will absolutely do. You also need to give yourself a little border on the edges to make sure you don't cut off the edges. Now, with an X-Acto or Stanley knife, you cut out the space in between the lines, creating a dynamic positive and negative space. I have to admit, as much as I love doing this, my hands did get a little sore towards the end. I've used a light card, 180 GSM here, so that it's a bit stiffer than paper and I can use it as a stencil and it will last. The next one I'll show you is the square stencil. Measure it up with a ruler again and give yourself that safety border. When using a Stanley knife, please keep your supporting hand and fingers away from the blade. I've cut myself before and it's not nice. I've made a few versions of this stencil using different size squares and that just makes it a little bit more interesting. I really enjoyed these mushrooms and I bought these mushrooms especially. I loved the form, I loved the texture and I wanted to replicate or copy that onto a stencil. Now this is a little more complicated to cut out so you need to spend a little bit of time but I actually think it's well worth it. I'm kind of influenced by Yayoi Kusama here. The mushrooms also look like shells. They're quite organic and quite beautiful. Don't forget to protect your table with a cutting board. Once your stencils are done, go out and collect your botanicals and start your printing. Again, I started with yellow. I often start with yellow. You can start with lighter colors, but obviously not white or cream because that probably wouldn't leave much of an impression. I've also started with stencils. I found that having stencils underneath before I placed the leaves and the ferns worked really well. But again, have a play around. There are very few rules in jelly printing. So after a few stencils, I've decided to go and use some of the leaves and botanicals that I found around my home and start printing with them. I'll go back and forth quite often, depending on how the print is working out. I've really noticed that the weather has affected my plate and my printing today. It's very, very hot and it's very, very muggy, but my house has got air conditioning. So I'm not sure whether the air conditioning is drying out the plate or drying out the paint, but I've had a few issues with it today. I love using white and I love using white after I've used about five or six different colours because I find that they complement each other really beautifully. You might have noticed this time that I'm not particularly purist about cleaning my brayer 
or my plate so some of the colors mix a little bit and I'm happy with that this time if you want a clean color you really have to clean and wipe in between each print I use wipes wipes are fantastic I actually cleaned my plates today with soap and water because because of the humidity You might notice that I've alternated between my botanicals and my stencils quite a bit and I've sort of mixed my warm colours and cool colours. I really like the effect. You do you, play with the colours, see what you like, see what works really well together. It's fun to play and acrylics are so forgiving. You can always layer them and put another layer on top to fix the print if you don't like it. I often finish my prints with white and this was a perfect ending. You can see those beautiful colours coming through but it's a nice clean print with lots of detail. Are you ready to start designing and creating and printing? Enjoy!